We're getting back into conference season with a lot of people headed out to Miami Crypto Week right now. But along with crypto conferences, unfortunately come criminals, hackers and malicious actors. Here are some tips and reminders to help you stay safe when traveling and attending cryptocurrency related events or really just good travel and conference tips in general. Power down your electronic devices fully before going through the security checkpoint. Turn your computer off, turn your phone off. Once a device is outside of your control, anyone can do anything with it. It's much harder to unlock and decrypt a device when it's powered off than when it's powered on, especially if your device is unlocked. Wait to power on your devices once passengers have boarded the plane and the plane doors have been locked. The risk of devices being taken once a plane is boarded and moving is much lower. Don't take your crypto keys with you. Having two of three or three of five keys in your possession makes you a point of failure for your crypto and puts your funds at risk. If you need to transact at the Bitcoin conference, which you should because we should all be using crypto in our everyday lives, it's better to use a mobile single key wallet with a limited amount of funds. Don't advertise the goods. I take note every time I'm in a travel hub of who is wearing a cryptocurrency shirt or who has a Bitcoin stick on the lid of their laptop. Criminals and thieves take note of this as well. Only use your own power chargers and cables. Attackers have been known to set up impromptu charging stations in travel hubs in the hopes that someone with an unpatched device will connect to it for charging purposes. Your device may charge, but it will also now be infected by a process known as juice jacking. Plug in to juice your phone and a hacker could use that connection to jack your personal information. So basically we're now in your phone watching everything you do. Instead, take portable batteries with you, or if you absolutely need to charge your device at an unknown station, use one of these handy data blockers. Hotel safes are not to be trusted for high value items, including hardware wallets or computers with wallets on them. These safes are easily accessible to hotel staff and cleaning services using bypass codes. These safes are often also accessible just by using a room key, a screwdriver or a ballpoint pen cap. When in doubt, don't bring high value items with you. Some hotels and suites have a double door connecting rooms or bathrooms directly. If your room has a double access door, ensure that it's locked from your side. You can move or brace a piece of furniture against the door to stop an inquiring neighbor. There are small portable door brace security locks that can be attached to hotel doors. The devices vary in effectiveness, ease of use and known flaws, but ultimately can help prevent an unwanted visitor from gaining entry while you're in your room. These are also just handy if you don't want housekeeping barging in on you in the shower, which has happened to me before. Airbnb style lodging is great for cost, but not so much for security. These accommodations are offered by individual owners rather than a company and they may not have the same level of physical and network security controls. Your personal property may not be protected or covered by insurance in the instance of a break-in or robbery. Use a VPN at all times when on a shared network, including hotels, Airbnbs or conference locations. Otherwise, all your network activity could potentially be monitored. If you're using shared car transportation services, ensure that the driver is who they say they are and that they work for the company they are representing. Presenting. This doesn't need to be a full-blown interrogation, but more of a verification. Are you Kevin with Uber? Oh, your name's Pete? Oh, my mistake, my app does show that. That can work very well as a false pretext verification. Ensure you have an emergency contact who knows where you will be traveling. They don't need to know all of your whereabouts at all times, but should be aware of your general plans and location. Very important, update any computers, tablets, or mobile devices you may be bringing with you prior to the event. This ensures that the latest security updates are applied and it minimizes the risk of known attacks against the devices. Turn off all unneeded network communications, including Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and AirDrop if you're using Apple products. This stops random connections and scanners from picking up your devices for further analysis and potential attack. It's usually best not to share pictures of a location on social media while you're still in that location. This stops a bad actor from finding your physical location in real time, or perhaps knowing that you're not in your hotel room at a particular time. Also be aware of who's in the background of your picture and if they're okay with the picture being posted online. Be aware of those in attendance at after parties, bars, and shared party locations. They might not be attending the conference, but just lurking around all the people talking about diamond hands. Limiting alcohol intake will also help keep one's senses sharp, but 
make sure you still have fun. It's time to get back into the traveling security mindset. As crypto prices rage higher and higher, or the dollar value gets lower and lower, whichever way you want to think about it, the industry is attracting ever more attention, as are those involved in it. While most attendees should feel perfectly safe that they're not going to be targeted, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Have fun in your travels.